Hi, it's Vlogmas day 14, maybe also 15 and it might also be 16. I'm taking an extra shift this week so I think I'm gonna have to do the days together vlog again. And it's gonna be another crochet one. I am going to... Ready? So I want to make a little um, crocheted animal toy for my friend's daughter. And she also has a little dog, a little schnauzer called Betka, and I want to crochet a little Betka for Elisa. It's been a while since I last crocheted little toys, little animals, and they're such fun little project. So I'm going to start with a sketch. I'm just going to draw it on my iPad today. And then I'm going to show you how I plan and how I prepare to make these little crocheted animals. Eddie! And then I'm going to show you how I make it. All right, something like this. This is all my yarns in here. I got black one. Uh, this is quite a nice dark, dark gray. And then for the dress, I have all the color colors you would want. So I made this little circle and I'm going to increase and make like a little bowl for the head. And once I'm over this part where I have to count, um, I'm gonna turn on Sex in the City. <laughs> I did some crocheting at work today. There was a little quiet time in between. So this one I finished yesterday, this is the head. And then I did two legs and a tail, all parts like this. There, you know, I started up here with a circle and then just went straight down and it's hollow, so I'm going to stuff it. So two legs and a tail. And then I've got a nose also, just like that, little part. And that I'm also going to attach onto the face in the end, like that. <laughs> and the ears. The ears, I'm not yet sure if they're gonna come on the head like down facing like that or up I need to check some pictures of schnauzers to know but now I'm going to take the head part and I'm going to start going into the dress so I'm just going to take one color and then slowly start to increase to get a little bit more bell shaped and then switch the color colors every couple of rows yeah that's the fun part Do you watch Paige Wassel on YouTube? I'm obsessed with her, she's amazing. She's got, she's an interior stylist, prop stylist, and she does interior videos, and she just moved to LA from Chicago, and she has, she's got her own new apartment now, and it's amazing. So I really recommend you to watch her channel if you're into stuff like that. She's really, really great. And I'm just about to change colors now. We're done with the lilac. I'm gonna go into
going to stuff all the body parts using this stuffing. I stuff the bottom quite a lot and then here on the top I don't fill it up so much just so that the arms are not sticking up like this, they're more like to the body. Arms are not yet attached, but they're gonna be like this. Tap. And here's the nose. Floop. Whoop. And then the ears. Okay, see you later. I know this doesn't look like a schnauzer these years. I think they have more like pointy up. I think Bitka, she has them like tap tap. So up and then fold it down. But it would be quite hard to make. And I think it just looks really sweet with the little ears down like this. Let's see a picture of the schnauzer. Miniature schnauzer. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna look at that much like a schnauzer. I think she's, she's black. She might have a little bit of grey. Oh, <laughs> This is what she was like when she was small. <laughs> Look at that! They leave that on. I'll see till the end. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is too much. I think it's too much. I'm gonna take it off. Little pink nose. I think I'm gonna do the blue eyes. It's gonna be more visible. And the positioning of the eyes I find really important. It does set so much for the character. I like them just a little bit more like apart. Like this. Just a little bit above the nose, not too much. There is little Bitka. There we go, 360. She's got sweet little nose and whiskers and blue eyes and a stripy dress and a funny tail. I hope Elisa likes her. <laughs> She doesn't look like much like a schnauzer, but I think they'll be difficult to recreate and she's still a really sweet crochet pup. So I hope you enjoyed the process of making this little bitka. Uh, it wasn't a tutorial, but I have two other crochet videos where I crochet. One is a um, little witch that I did for Halloween last year. And there I go very, very into detail, like stitch by stitch tutorial, so you can figure out basically everything how you make this one from that one and then I also have one more video where I crochet three animals similar to this one and uh, yeah I'm going to link them here for you if you're interested in seeing them or in trying to make some yourself so thank you so much for watching this three days of vlogmas and making a little bitka and yeah see you tomorrow I've got fun stuff planned for this weekend so Vlogmas will be back on track. Thank you and see you soon.